Welcome back to the Alpine Rose. Season 3, Episode 6. Starting the second floor logs and all the way up to the ridge beams. Now we have the character post in place and we have the bearing wall down the center of the house in place. Now it's time to put in the floor joists for the second level. Remember the notches that were cut in the 12th row of logs on the east and the west walls. This is where all the floor joists went. And then they attached to the center beam of the house in various different methods. Some set on the 2x6 stud wall in the center between the posts and others butted up against the GL beam going from the post to the back of the house. This is how the floor joists with the tenon looked in the notched outer wall. And here's how one of the floor joists looked attached to the GL beam. Note the two screws that are holding the beam on the opposite side. Because of the way these were mounted to the GL, they could not be exactly in the same place. My daughter and I continued to add the floor joists until we got to the front of the house. On the west side, the floor joists stop at the stairway. On the east side, they stop just over the kitchen. I was so grateful that my daughter was able to take vacation and help me out numerous times this year. We then grabbed a bunch of the plywood that was destined for the roof and put it up on the floor joists so we had something to walk on. My other daughter and her boyfriend showed up to give us a hand. Now we can start another row of logs but working at a level that's much easier. But we got to get the logs up to the second floor. <laughs> Come to shout. Yeah, the, baby. What's the sound he makes when he gets one of those little things? The northwest side is going to have a dormer. Therefore, we can continue the log straight up approximately eight feet. The east wall didn't go up any higher. This is where the roof was going to meet the log. The roof on the east side was a 12-12 pitch, and the roof on the west side is a 6-12 pitch. So the east side back wall was going to taper down to the right wall height. So now we're getting up in height. This is a 22-foot ladder, and it's still below us. I attached 2x6s to the back wall so we could use those as a guide to keep going straight up. The back wall will have one window and one door going out to a balcony. The right side of the back wall will be a 12-12 pitch angle going all the way down to the right edge of the top logs. Through the doorway I left one log wall to help keep my logs straight all the way across. Here you can see the rental lifts that I have, one on the lower level to bring the logs to the second level, and another one on the second level to set them on the wall. So on the left wall, which had the dormer, the logs actually would sit on the roof. They would be angle cut sitting along one of the roof joists. So we stop the logs at the bathroom window and then the rest will be put on once we have the roof joists in place. So we continue to put logs on the north wall until they came to a peak. On the north wall the logs on the left would be cut at a 612 pitch and on the right at a 1212 pitch. As you can tell we're working from about 7 o'clock in the morning till sunset, which is about 9 p.m. My wife's dad, Adrian, shows up to help us out from Switzerland. We're now able to see the type of view we're going to have from the upper level and the back balcony.
and I can look down on the garage and the RV. So now it's time to prepare the ridge beams. There was going to be three ridge beams. One supports the roof from the back wall to the back character post. The next goes between the two character posts. And the third goes from the front character post to the front window posts. It's now August 18th and we're seeing the leaves start to change. A little bit earlier this year. So I called up the boom truck and got them on schedule to come out and put in the back two ridge beams. There had to be a notch in the back wall and there had to be a notch in the character post. But they have to be an inch different. Because the log wall will shrink and the character post won't, this has to be one inch higher on the log wall. Because it's another part. I also rented a two-man lift. When the boom truck comes, I need to be able to move around in the air up by the top of the house. So now I need to get up to the top of the character post and put notches in both posts at the same height. The front ridge beam and the center ridge beam will share the same notch, 50-50. Fifty. So it's now the day the boom truck comes out. We're going to set the ridge beam into the notches that I already prepared. This was not a fast process. If the notches didn't fit just right, we had to get out the chainsaw, do a little trimming here and there. Are you in? Hold up. Hold up. So the ridge beam was a character beam notched on both ends to fit through the character post and the logs with a GL beam attached to the top and this is where the actual roof joists attach. What I didn't know at the time is the ridge beam that was supplied by the log home kit was 6 inches too high. And of course now that it's September we're going to get some weather.
with scaffolding on one end and the lift on the other end, we're able to get the boom truck to drop it right into the grooves. Boy, what's fun to do this in the rain. Gosh almighty. A job well done for the crew to get both ridge beams put in the same day. We put up some 2x6 to tie it off so it doesn't move. Now I can start putting in the roof joists. So I attached a 2x6 along the logs at the angle of the 12-12 pitch and I cut off the logs on the back right wall so that we could start the roof choices. It was at this point that I realized that the GL beam that was on top of the ridge beam was too high. I had to cut off six inches horizontally of the GL beam to get the roof choices in the right position. I confirmed this with Lazarus Holmes and the guy who did the engineering of the plans and all they could say was they're sorry, but that didn't help. Now I've got the GL beam cut down to the height I need. Keep an eye out for episode 6 where I install the rest of the roof joists one by one. Thank you for watching.